it's absolute torrential rain. Storm Kathleen is coming in. It's another outdoor alley adventure, guys. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a Friday, we're out wild camping. Bit of an unusual day for me to go camping, but I've been off work all week. Dying with a man flu as well, so yeah. I had a few camps planned, had they been them. Um, yeah, I was meant to be going up to Ben Lawyer's the mountain range, but it was a feels like factor of minus 13. Not good when you've got a man flu, so. Going in a fairly easiest camp down in the Galloway Forest. Managed to get a boy out camping with me, so yeah. We've been, we've been down there for about another and a half, two hours now. When we first got here, it was torrential rain, so yeah, we've got a tarp set up, we've got one tent set up. I brought two tents, I'm going to sleep in another tent for Xander. Um, but yeah, beautiful down there, I'm going to show you in a little minute. But yeah, it's just good to be back out camping. And by the way, happy Easter to everyone, hope you've all had a good Easter. And if you've watched my last video and helped donate towards uh, the Veterans Charity, thank you very much. Right, come on, let's get camping. So, you yeah, watch, it's quite boggy around here. Like I said it has been raining, sort of torrential. Um, but yeah, that's the tarp set up. See, so it was hastily done. I might lower that side a little bit. But yeah, got the, tip, the top section raised. I pulled down the sides for about a cover from the wind. Gonna show you under the tarp. And before my son says it, I'll blur his face out in the video. So there it is. So hopefully I'm gonna get a fire here. The tarp's high enough. We rub his bag. And yeah, that's the side of it. Right, I'll show you the, the crew of jewel which I've set up for Xander. So I'll just show you where the boy is sleeping tonight. And possibly me. Possible me if that tent lets in rain, but yeah, the old trusty crew of Jewel is sleeping in a palace tonight. What a tent! This has done me wonders. This tent, it's only a single skin tent, but yeah, stood up to high wind and rain. There's a wee vent in the back as well, also a couple of vents at the side, but yeah, this is massive inside. It's a palace. Give us a wee look at the space, so that space you've got in there. It is massive inside. It really is a two man tent. Possibly three at a squeeze. But yeah, so that's set up. I just need to get the, my tent set up now. Right, I'll bring you back. Definitely need to watch my footing tonight. I'll show you where I'm going to set up. It's not the best pitch, but yeah, it's close to the top. So yeah, I think I'm going to set up around about here. Right, I'm going to go to get the tent and I'll show you. This is heavy, solid metal poles. Don't know if anybody had one of these. Now let's feel combat. Let's feel combat one. So yeah, this is proper old. I did have this out in the summer, I put it out in my garden. It seemed okay, but I was just, um, the poles would go through the little ringlets. Yeah, a bit worried about water, water ingressing through that, so yeah. I might need duct tape them. And yeah, but anyway, we'll get it set up. I won't bore you with me setting up, I'll just show you once it's set up. I'll do the old camera thing. Right guys, here it is. The Litchfield Combat 110. 
It's a lot different from today's tents. It is quite sturdy considering there's no guy lines. Um, it's just a pole set up, pole at the front, pole at the back. One long pole across it connects it. But yeah, this front part where the fly is open, I don't know. Depends what direction the wind's coming in. But yeah, that could get soaked. The dinner could get soaked there. Um, but yeah, as I said, sturdy enough. I'll give you a look around it and then I'll give you a look inside it. <laughs> So yeah, as I said, that's what I'm worried about most. Water ingressing from the little ringlets. Um, or coming straight in from the front. The fly seat seems in decent condition. Um, it looks like the stitching is possibly starting to come a bit loose there, so I'm worried about that. As I said, it's a Litchfield Combat one. And yeah, there, that's the back, it just pulls out. And again, it's got the, the ringlet system. I'll give you a wee look inside it. So yeah, it's a... Yeah, it's a two-way zipper. It up. No bug nets or anything. But yeah. It's got some cords that tie up. That'll do right, I'll take these inside. There's a decent gap between the, the inner and the fly. But inside it's very saggy. As you can see I've got the pole at the end. Yeah, I'll try and bring these in. Yeah, it's definitely long enough. Um, just. But yeah, I need to think of a way of stopping this enough from sagging and sags in quite a lot. A bit claustrophobic. But yeah, we'll see how it stands up to the rain. Considering the sage, this is actually in fairly not too bad condition. It doesn't smell that much. It does smell a little, but not that much. Hopefully I don't knock the poles over. <coughs> That's it. The Van Gogh Litchfield Combat. That's me. Go to the bed and set up. In that tent. Go to the bed and set up in that tent. Um, gonna go do a wee bit of exploring, but first of all, I'll get my wee disposable fire pit set up. Leave no trace and all that. Um, I can't actually see any fire pits around here, which I'm surprised. Um, but seeing that, maybe a couple are just waterlogged. So yeah, these things, I think you can buy them for £10 on Amazon. They're brilliant. If you're wanting a fire, you're no one to leave. You know what to leave any marks, you know what to scar the land. They are a bit finicky setting up. Hopefully I can do this first time. I probably won't. Yeah. I think I've got about another hour of sunlight, so yeah. Yeah, I probably won't be able to do this in cam. I'll probably need to set this up a few times, but can I do it first time or I'm gonna need a retake? Yeah, I'm probably gonna need a retake. Usually I've got Craig, he sorts this out. Craig, where are you when I need you? Right. Simple. Simple. No, nope, it's not simple. Right, I'll bring this back when I got it done because you can just sit and watch me for 10 minutes doing this. There you go, guys. Easy. Fire pit set up. Right, my hands are absolutely manking now. Uh, but yeah, gonna go do a wee bit of exploring. Um, a few water features. I think there's a waterfall down there, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a little cool archway, a little bridge. So I'm gonna go and explore that just now. Have this set up. Hopefully the rain doesn't come down too much, but I think I've got my tarp high enough in here. I can have a wee fire at the edge. Right, very windy. We're off exploring. 
me and the boy. Seem like a little bridge down here. It's fucking treacherous. I'm going to fall on a bog. Yeah, that was boggy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very flooded as well. It's like a whole area really flooded just now. Let's go, I wonder. Oh no, is this the wrong way? Yeah, I'm not going that way. I don't know, go down this way. Don't want wet feet, there's nothing worse than getting wet feet in a camp. Especially if you can't get a fire started. But yeah, this is pretty cool. <coughs> I need to watch my footing as well. It's very slippy. Sander, you watch your footing as well, bud. Yep, this is pretty cool. Definitely know it's the weather more now that I'm outside the woods. Hopefully you can hear me. Bluetooth microphone again is not working. I've got two Bluetooth microphones, they never work. Maybe I should stop buying them off AliExpress. I think maybe this is the safest way around. Just watch, it's very slippy here. This would actually be a cool spot to sit down and bring out a wee fire. But probably a wind tunnel under here. Right, how are we getting across here? Very carefully. I'll just hold on to that. I don't know where this leads to. That looks like it stops and there's possibly a waterfall. Yeah. Exploring. Yeah, this bit's very slippy. I'm going to turn off the camera. I'll bring us back. Yeah, it is. It's a wee waterfall. Right, we just need to walk across this without falling in. Da -da -da. <laughs> The ones and that. Just give your trainers the camera. <laughs> pretty cool. Can I get close? That's where we came from, a little Larksway Bridge. I think that's as far as we can go. But yeah, pretty cool wee walk. Right back for a super noodles and a pot noodle. <laughs> Nothing fancy tonight. Xander's a bit of a fussy eater, same as me. So yeah, quick and easy noodles. And then we'll get a fire on the go. Get a game of cards. And then, um, I don't know, I might have a wee cheeky ball of up class. You never know.
This is the dam I'm right beside guys. It's pretty cool if it's a dry night. I'd probably just sit out in these rocks. But yeah. The sky's not looking the best. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Grey clouds are moving in. It's meant to be raining. Heavy all night. But we're supposed to get a little break. There's a little bridges over that. We're supposed to get a little break between about 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock, so that'll do me. So, yeah, time to get the, the noodles on. Super noodles and a pot noodle. Nice and easy. I said I brought lots of crisps and chocolate and stuff. Keep the wee man happy. And I said, probably said earlier, I'm going to get a wee game of cards and stuff. Might even try to do a live later on um, if I get a signal, but we'll see. Right, it's getting dark. Time to get head torches on. Right, for dinner for me tonight, it's uh, Bombay Bad Boy. And for a youngster, it is... Bacon Super Noodles. But, first of all, I'll get the water boiled up, the fire maple, get myself a pot noodle, and then I'll use the fire maple as like a pot stand. And I'll get the super noodles on the go. I should do with my pot noodle. Get the lid on that. Get the gas on. Ready? Yeah, I think I've come the gas the wrong way. Super. Right, where have I put my fork? Yep, got my fork. Bombay bad boy. I do like the curry ones as well, but Bombay bad boys are immense. Let's get a bit of about. I like to leave my pot noodle for about 15 20 minutes. And then add the sauce at the end. Right, I'll bring his back and I'm getting Xander's on. The bacon noodles. A little bit of bacon powder. Let's hope I don't spill them like I did the last one was under there. It's getting a wee bit chilly. Time we got a fire on the go. Um, these woods are sogging. There's no chance of me. I brought my max and my saw and stuff, but yeah, there's going to be no chance of me cutting any wood here, um, picking up any dead wood. Everything is soaking wet. Uh, so I've got my wee disposable fire pit. Ten pound for go outdoors, leave no trace, and yeah, just going to stick one of these fire logs on. I've got a bag of logs, um, and yeah, hopefully that's going to do us tonight. Just have a little small fire anyway. The rain apparently is meant to stay off until about midnight, was it? Midnight. So yeah, hopefully we can have this fire uh, before we go to bed. So yeah, instant fire log. These things are easy. A few pound home bargains. 
equator. Later in a wind, sometimes a pain in the arse. Yeah, it says this one will give us two hours. Usually take a half hour off, it'll probably give me a light for about an hour and a half. So yeah, that'll keep us warm. And um, yeah, I think I've got another half bag of logs in about the car as well, so we'll keep us going for a couple of hours. Right, Sander, time to get some heat in us. It's about 11, half past 11 at night. I've just done a live stream, um, done a live stream on the channel. <laughs> And every single person is saying to me, Ali, are you mental? Do you know there's a storm coming tonight? And I'm like, no, <laughs> what storm? And um, they're saying Storm Kathleen. Uh, yeah, it's meant to be crazy. How many miles per hour winds did you say is coming? Seven. 70 miles per hour winds. I don't know if that's going to be the case in here, because it's not a close woodland. It's quite an open woodland, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what the night brings. I don't think this uh, Litchfield Combat is going to last in 70 miles per hour winds or constant rain, which apparently is predicted. Um, but yeah, you know what the weather's like. It might not be that bad. Um, but yeah, when I looked in the weather earlier, I said, yeah, there's going to be heavy, constant rain from midnight onwards. But um, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to set up for another hour or two. I'll judge it. I know the rain's... You can probably hear the rain coming in just now. The rain's coming in. The wind's the the wind. The wind's not too bad just now. Um But yeah, that can change. I don't fancy sleeping in that tent, but even if I don't sleep in it, I'm gonna leave it up tonight and see if it's waterproof, see if it's up to the test. But yeah, that crew of jewel. I know that's tried and tested. It's definitely I'm gonna be safe in there. Um I don't actually know when this storm's meant to come in, if it's meant to be in the early hours or if it's meant to be tomorrow afternoon, but yeah, as I said on the live stream, everybody was saying to me, Ali, you're mental, you do know there's a storm. I didn't know there was a storm, I don't do any prior planning and preparation. I just, yeah, I'm going to the camp, let's go. But yeah, just sitting here um, <laughs> on an old pot lid, playing cards with my son, Uno. I don't know, it's the three cards you get from McDonald's. But yeah, we're having fun, just having a laugh. Say it's about 11, half 11 at night. And yeah, the heavy, the 95% chance of heavy rain is coming in the next half hour or an hour, so... Yeah. <laughs> there just comes the rain, as you heard there. There's the heavy rain. Fucking... Ah! Oh, sorry for swearing, but yeah. So yeah, we'll play cards until it's heavy rain. We might need to move back, we might need to bring the fire under the tarp a little bit. But, it's Britain, it's Scotland, we're not going to die, a bit of wind, a bit of rain, we'll be fine. Worst case scenario, the car's only about a five minute walk away, so yeah, we'll be fine. Right, I'll bring you back later, probably, when we're doing cheese toasties, once we've had a game of cards. But yeah, carry on. But yeah, it's Burton sitting in the house, isn't it? It's yeah. Burton sitting in the house and watching the BBC. <laughs> we don't like the BBC. We don't like dog walkers either, but yeah, this is life, it really is, even if the wind does come, the rain does come, the storms do come, it's making memories. Right guys, the storm is a coming, so we're getting our cheese toasties in first, I've got my ridge monkey, get that closed over, get on the hot coals, before the Storm Kathleen comes in. We need our energy for it, so we're getting our cheese toasties in. Right, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, just enjoying the fire. In regards to the Litchfield Combat, I've just been inside it. And yeah, the car in there is soaking wet. So there's a leak somewhere, so... I'm just going to be sleeping in the crew of Jewel with my son tonight. Yeah, but it would have been nice if that was good, but yeah, it's a 40 year old tent, so yeah. Definitely not sleeping in that tonight. Storm Kathleen is coming in, and <laughs> yeah. 
I fancy a dry night tonight. So yeah, just gonna enjoy the fire for another half hour, then off to bed. Half past one in the morning, um, yeah, I think a storm is definitely moving in. As you can hear on the top, torrential rain. Well, not torrential rain, but yeah, it's quite heavy rain. But yeah, it's supposed to last like this all night long. But the way I've set, I'm glad I took the time to set up the tarp. It took about an hour setting up the tarp. We've done it well. So yeah, it's holding up. It says we're keeping warm by the fire underneath the tarp. But yeah, that old Litchfield combat tent. I'm not sleeping in that. Took a wee look inside it. There's water getting through. The, the core and inner, that's damp already, it's wet. So there's a leak. So I'm just going to sleep in the crew of Jewel with a boy. But, yeah, I'll see what it's like in the morning. That is a 40 year old tent, so <laughs> I wasn't expecting much. I'm no waterproof it or anything. But yeah, definitely not sleeping in that tonight. So, going to enjoy the last of the fire with a boy. And then, yeah, it's off to the crew of Jewel for a dry night's sleep. It might be an uncomfortable night's sleep because, uh, it's not the most level pitch and there's a lot of tree roots and stuff but who cares, it's good to be out right, probably bring us back in the morning a few moments later right guys, so I've just noticed there is actual the crew of Jewel, the trusted reliable crew of Jewel there's, uh, there's water leaking I don't know where from, I don't know if it's coming in from the air fence but I said it's it's really heavy rain outside, heavy wind, um, yeah. I'm going to need to try and get some gaffer tape, see if I can sort this out. But yeah, it's coming in from the top of the tent, I don't know where. But there's water dripping down, so yeah, it's not good, not good. <laughs> not good at all. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be much sleep tonight. Yeah, I would pick the worst time to come out, but yeah. I blame him. He always picks the worst time to come out. Right, gonna try and gaffer tape this up. Yeah, that'll need to. We we'll both got bivvy bags, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we're not gonna need too wet. It's another outdoor alley adventure, guys. Right, I'll go back to these in the morning. Probably, I'm soaking wet. Right, so he's probably seen last night the rain getting in, guys. So I don't know where. Can't see any. Can't see any gaps. I don't think it was the rain blowing under the vents. But yeah, got to enjoy that tent. But yeah, I'm not taking it out if I can't trust it in the rain anymore. Oh. At least my tap stayed up during the night. That's one good thing. My rubbish bag's still hanging on the wee nail. 
Let's see how the Natchfield combat fared. Not very good. Puddles on the side of it. Damp patches. Opened this a few minutes ago, so it wasn't left like this, but... <sighs> yeah. There's puddles. I don't know if you can see that puddle on the side. It looks like the inner's wet. So yeah, probably a good choice not sleeping in here. I don't know if you can see the puddles all on the side. Yeah. It was nostalgic having you out, but yeah. Two tents. Two tents. Not weather worthy at all. So yep. I'll be on the lookout for a new tent soon. Morning guys. Well, that was a good night. Up until about 1am. That tent got soaking wet inside. We went to that tent, that ended up with drips coming in through the ceiling. As you've seen, that the masking tape um, the top of the tent, so I'm gutted over that. Um, yeah, and I just discovered that my shoes, my walking shoes, are soaking wet. My son must have kicked him, at, um, kicked him to the side of the vestibule in the, the really bad heavy rain last night. So, yeah, everything's got wet, so just as well have a pair of aqua shoes. He can wear aqua shoes, he got my shoes wet, so I'm wearing his boots just now. But yeah, it's calm this morning, the rain's may come in about another hour, so I'm going to have this cup of tea. And yeah, it's the worst part of my camping, especially after it's been wet, packing everything away, especially when things are wet. With two tents to pack away, a tarp, and a lot of stuff. Right, I might bring his back, I'll bring his back, I'll show you the area cleaning stuff, maybe even go up to the dam. But for now, I need this cup of tea before I even think about packing anything away. Love it, guys. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's getting a bit windy guys. I think maybe this storm Kathleen is coming. I'm getting out of here. Guys, I am getting out of here. This wind is starting to get a bit crazy. Right guys, this is area slept last night, as always. Leave no trace. I'm gonna go back over to the where I had the top and I'll show you. Again, look how waterlogged that is. I think people usually camp here in the drier weather, but yeah, it's waterlogged and flooded. But yeah. This is where we had the tarp up. This is where I had the, the Let's Feel Combat. So, leave no trace. All good. Final thoughts on this camp. It was good to get out with a boy, uh, make memories. He enjoyed himself regardless, don't get me wrong. I think he's tired and may need some sleep. But, um, yeah, this is the first time I've had two tents fail on me. Um, yeah, people sometimes think I script these videos but always something goes wrong, but <laughs> something always goes wrong. Um, I thought it was too good last night. Xander even said, I said, Dad, apart from the, the torrential rain when it first came into camp, which I never filmed, he said, Dad, this is going too smooth. Spoke too soon. That tent flooded. That tent leaking. Um, yeah, I think my earmark went down a bit as well. The ULA. A little bit. Um, but yeah, stuff it. It's worth it getting outside. Uh, I love this. And I said, Sanders loved it. He said he's going to come in again. <laughs> See, just sits and laughs. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful here. But it's getting quite windy. So, time to head off. I might take a wee a walk up to the dams if I can get up there. 
but yeah so if you like the video guys the usual give me a wee like and subscribe and um, hopefully I'll be back out again soon hopefully with him you never know right thanks guys